Welcome to the channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to be installing LED lights on our Ender 3 Creality Pro. No, the, the, the words are in there, wrong order. 3D printer. If your Creality Prusa 3D printer has eyes, I'm sure this is what it would be seeing. Yep. Just, just this over and over again. This kit fixes that. Let's get started installing it. First things first, I'm the realist. We gotta take the top bar off. Spin all your spinny screws out across the top and well then they're off. That, that's it. Then go ahead and take off this black cap because you're gonna need to slide the LED into that little slot. Now that you've got the upper LED in the slot, slap yourself on the back because you've done two good things today. Now let's get to the third. That's basically just reinstalling the bar you took off. Not, not, a lot, not a lot happening on that step. Now we need to power this magical LED beacon, and that comes from the magic happener, or normal people would call it the power supply. Pop off this screw here, and probably that one too. Sure, why not? And then there's a screw on the front side you gotta take out. Then you'll wrestle with it and realize there's another hidden screw down here. And once you take that out, you are free to move about the cabin. Well, you should probably unplug it first. Actually, if you've been following along, you're probably already dead, because you shocked yourself. My bad. This is the power cable that you need to plug into your power supply. Make sure you spec out a 12 volt or a 24 volt unit before you order your kit. If you do it now and it's wrong, well, you know, it's not gonna work well. It'll work once and then it'll let all the magic smoke out and won't work again. Go ahead and find an empty slot on the positive and negative sign. Keep track of your wiring when you're man muscling this panel back in there. You don't want it getting all pinchy McDougals in there on you. <laughs> no, you don't. Or you do. I don't, yes. Fine. And here's your Matt Dad 10,021 tip for the day. Make it so your power switch has the same rockingness as the actual power switch on your unit. That way when you go reach back there to turn them on, you can hit them both at the same time. Peel off the adhesive and just slap it on there. Wow, look at you, you're doing it. We'll tame the wiring rat's nest up. I like coiling it up and then zip tying it to the main board's power harness. Here's the light working. Now I love it, don't get me wrong, but the issue it creates is now you have a shadow directly under your hot end, which is why I only recommend buying the hot end and the V-slot kit together so you don't have this happen. Let's get installing the hot end kit. Normally I wouldn't recommend a scotch lock style wiring connection, but honestly for the basically 0.0000043 amps that this thing draws probably doesn't matter. And if it doesn't work, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, it, it'll be fine. The world will be okay. In a perfect world, I'd recommend soldering and heat shrinking this, but, you know, today, you and me. Here it is on the stock Ender 3 sheet metal. Perfect places to mount it, but it also works well on 3D printed fan shrouds as well. I do have a few suggestions for you if you want to make your install happier. I first 3D printed a little rectangle and then used some 3M double-sided adhesive to put the rectangle onto the LED. That way if I ever want to reposition things, I'm not really peeling off the back side of the circuit board, but it sounds sketchy at best. Second option, command strips. Take a command strip and slice it down. Be sure to leave a little bit of the pull tab, that way if you ever need to remove it, it works fine. I've been testing a command strip holding up my little 3D printed rectangle for over a month now, and the heat doesn't seem to be phasing it, so it's probably safe. Probably. Good luck. To power this LED, you need to put it on your main hot end cooling fan, not the extrusion fan off to the side. Once you spread the cheeks on those wires, go ahead and get your little climpy clampy and just clamp it on there. That's all there is to it. Then just shove it down in there and zip tie it up so it's not looking all crazy eyed and there you go. So to answer the question you're asking right now, Matt, is this worth it? Yeah, for like 20 bucks? This is an amazing deal and it solves the annoyance problem of me having to like hold a flashlight and my phone underneath there trying to see and level everything every time, just be generally annoyed. I use mainly black filaments so you can never see anything on them. But even with light colored filaments, it's so much easier to see what's going on in your printer. Do it. Just don't go to work tomorrow. Just, just stay home, order this, stay at home until it arrives and then put it on. You'll, you'll probably not have a job anymore, but um, your 3D printer will be cool. 